Stuff to fix. Lots of stuff to fix. Hello. So if you're out here in Alberta, there's a bunch of snow on the ground and this, uh, this is going to be the base for the year. So if we can get some more on top of this. Got some good riding around here. Got lots of fix it videos coming. Uh, so I hope you're prepared. Today's video isn't a fix it video though. Today's video is an upgrade video. An upgrade video for the Alpha. It's like the upgrades on this Alpha rail, they never end. New parts, shiny new parts today. Shiny new parts today for BMP. It's actually uh, Altitude Power Sports set us up with uh, some more um, skid parts for the Alpha. More rail reinforcement stuff for the Alpha. We didn't open it, thanks to little dog Eno. <laughs> so I took the liberty of taking the uh, skid out of the Alpha already. Because uh, on this one, I think uh, having the skid out of the machine, it's, a it's actually going to be a benefit. It's actually going to make your life uh, a little easier. If you were good or you had like a, a sideways drill, yeah, one like this. If you actually, I didn't use this, but if you uh, had a drill like this, you actually might be able to do this project without taking out the skid, but uh, I'd just take out the skid if I were you. So we got some BMP parts here again. And I say again, because we did the full rail brace on the Alpha and we did the uh, front bumper kit on the Alpha as well, both BMP parts. I have a whole series on this skid. So before I do this, quick, uh, quick go over of all the upgrades on this rail. Okay, so we have the full rail brace from BMP. Uh, definitely covers where I buckled the rail last time. And then we have the ZRP fork uh, for the rear suspension arm because these have been known to break from cat. We also have a uh, upgraded bushing kit for the front shock mount because I was one of the guys who tore that out. I also have the TKI idler reels on the rear, which doesn't leave much left for this skid to be upgraded. It's pretty much, uh, it's pretty much had it all at this point. So what we're doing today is a BMP rail tip brace. Uh, I've seen actually a number of these uh, pop it off uh, whether that uh, That tip is getting a little too aggressive with the track and biting into it or it's taking a rock or something But uh, yeah, I've seen enough of those where that uh, tip is broken right off uh, the end of the slide rail on this alpha and The either wheels and everything is missing. They're cool little brackets. They're actually super easy to install uh, there's a left and a right one because on one side you actually have that front arm shock mount that is going to get in your way so you need to actually have that side just a little bit shorter and then on the left side of the rail gets uh, the full brace the full tip brace all the way back to uh, to that front either wheel that uh, isn't part of the anti-stab kit so it's just about lining it upright on the back of this left one here there's kind of like a chamfer in uh, this edge here so that one of the um, channels on that alpha skid can fit in there and you, you don't have an interference fit there um, and then in the front as well where this rivet is is there's another channel in there just so you can move this thing around play with it a little bit and get it where you need to be on this side I had to pop off these two either wheels just to get a drill in there so I could uh, drill some holes and we could get this thing mounted up it's really just about getting everything lined up drill in your holes and bam that's where she lives it's doing its job and then on the right side of the skid I actually had to take that shock out and this is why I say removing the skid might be a little easier you're just gonna save yourself some swearing trust me and then you're able to just pop that shock out a bunch easier uh, you won't be fighting with it and you could drill your holes line it up properly uh, line it with the one on the other side and uh, Really just pop your holes in and then pop the rivets in after it's a super easy install just like the rear bracket We did the same thing in the rear. So yeah, all you really need for install is uh, a picture and uh, I didn't even have that From there all you got to do is pop your shock back in pop in the either wheels that you had to take off on that side too And that's it. It's actually a super easy install as long as you got a drill and a rivet gun and a basic toolkit You can do this at home. It's not tough like this skid is it's done. I've done everything I can to this thing. I can't uh, I can't upgrade it anymore unless I wanted to do like the guide wheels or something like that. And uh, is that going to make it any more dependable? Arguably no. Uh, I actually caught myself a few times over the last couple of years uh, checking just to see if that tip was even still there. Because if, if someone's going to break it, it's if there's going to be a problem with an alpha rail, I'll find it. I think we did good though. I think we did awesome. I think we found all the problems. That's it, we installed it. Uh, super big thanks to BMP and APS. APS can get you uh, all the bracing and all the reinforcement stuff that uh, we've done on this thing. So um, 
check them out because if you're looking for aftermarket parts it's, it's the place to go that's it for this video uh remember to leave a like and subscribe because it makes you feel good and that's it video over roll cool new wicked logo and outro and all that uh bye